New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu is with us now. And, sir, welcome back to our program. Good morning to you. Morning. Thanks. M Maggie Hassan won her race six years ago by a mere 1,000 votes. And I, this is a big target for Republicans. Bulldog is saying you guys are just afraid of him because he doesn't favor any special interests. To him, you would say what as to why you're not supporting him? Uh, it, th this is a ra race about being results driven. So Senator Morse, uh, who is is running, uh, has stood with me to rebuild the mental health system, has stood with me to rebuild our treatment and, and, and recovery system here in, in New Hampshire, has stood with me to buy the, the mental health hospitals, to make these investments, uh, to invest in our infra infrastructure. So he's got it done. Uh, that's something that no one in Washington really has a great record of doing anything, frankly. And so folks in New Hampshire want, f want somebody that understands their issues, has actually been in the state, has actually engaged in this stuff uh, with a record of, of results. And so that's what, what it's all about. And then not to mention Chuck Morse can, without a doubt, win in November. I mean, the polls all say that. I mean, I, I think Senator Hassan is in real trouble. Uh, she can complain all she wants, but she hasn't been here for five years. How would she know what the people in New Hampshire want? She hasn't even been here, been on the ground here. So you can't just show up in year six and start spending a bunch of money and think it's all going to work out. She spent, what, 35, 40 million bucks? I think our approval numbers have gone from 42 percent up to 42 percent. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. people just want her gone, and, and they want both of our congressional delegations but before gone, you get too. To so, the, um, this, before yeah. you get to the November general, there is the primary today. And you know, our yeah. understanding is that Baldock has a, a, a great amount of support in the state, uh, that he has supporters who will walk over coals for him. We've seen this in some of the states when you have low turnout primaries, somebody can get through. Here's what he said. Call for number three about his race. The reason they're afraid of me is they can't control me. I am not a career politician. I don't favor special interests. I scare them. So they call me names, right? Not being a serious candidate, well, I'll leave that to the Granite Staters to decide. And, Governor, he's getting support from an unexpected place. This is from uh, Chuck Schumer's PAC, spending $3.2 million in an attack ad against the candidate you support, State Senator Chuck Morse. Democrats have spent $19 million across eight states in these types of things. I wonder what you think about their strategy in spending money to highlight candidates that they consider to be semi-fascist. Well, look, can you imagine being a Democrat donor knowing your money is supporting the most extreme candidate? Because here's the other problem they're going to have. In some of these races, they're going to get what they asked for. I mean, they really are. They're going to get extreme, what you could call extreme candidates winning in November because people are fed up with inflation. They're fed up with gas prices. It's a horrible strategy. I think it should be banned, by the way. Uh, I hate this super PAC stuff. I hate this dark money stuff. I hate, and by the way, I think I, I'm with pretty much 98% of America when I say that. Um, we want, if folks want to raise money for their campaigns and their candidacy, that's fine. But you got to bring some reforms in to fix this sort of thing. And uh, I just think that this strategy is going to massively mm -hmm. uh, Backfire on the Democrats. It'd be interesting to watch this after the whole midterm is decided, and we look back and see how it goes. I, I know you support Chris Morse, uh, and in your piece earlier today, you write, "We need a Republican nominee who will win." You say we Republicans have to get this right. Do you think if Bulldog's the candidate, he cannot beat Maggie Hassan? Oh no, he can. No, no, they're all pretty much all the candidates in the Republican primary could beat Senator Hassan. I think Chuck Morse definitely has the best chance. He's the one that will win by the biggest margin. And with him and myself on the top of the ticket, we'll pull in a lot of the state races. We'll have the coattails, if you will, for a real red wave here in New Hampshire, as well as the congressional seats. There's no doubt. But pretty, let's understand something. Everybody in New Hampshire wants Maggie Hassan fired in November. Mm -hmm. That's no doubt. And almost any of these Republicans could beat her. When it comes to inflation, as I would imagine, cost of living, the number one issue, but abortion also is now an issue in these races does that how does that work for somebody like Maggie Hassan can she get a good turnout number based on that issue no no I mean look that fires up her base but in New Hampshire nothing changed pre Dobbs post Dobbs you know we, we have there's a 24 week rule here it's in place nothing has fundamentally changed at all because of the Dobbs and other states it's more extreme they're having real fights over it here, it's just it's, it's business as usual, if you will. So it's not an issue that is going to drive the independence to the polls because there's not been a, a fundamental shift in that. What there has been a fundamental shift is is inflation and gas prices and just putting food on the table and the cost of electricity and all of that. 
right? This Inflation Reduction Act they, they did, mm -hmm. we all know it's not reducing inflation, it's not providing assistance where they need it. Those are the things that are going to drive people to the polls in November. All right, Governor, thank you. We'll see what Good happens see later tonight. Chris Sununu, thanks for coming back. Take care. Hey, it's Will Kane. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Kane podcast for full episodes right now.